So let's give it up for Zach. How's everybody doing? All right. Five people are doing great. So we've got what, like five-ish minutes up here, seven, I don't fucking know. Uh, let's delve into some deep personal issues. So the past two or three years for me, it's just been a steady burrowing of new lows, which I've learned to accept. Like, that's not going to change, but I can change my attitude about it, which I tried a couple things. The first thing I tried was uh, taking all of my bad news as if it were given to me by an old prospector. <laughs> like, you know, a girl shoots you down. Instead of hearing, what are you doing in my house? Where are my kids? Oh God, the kids, what did you do to the kids? <laughs> Girl stuff. Um, <laughs> I hear, free the damn root, and I be free the count. Say I get fired. Instead of being escorted out by security, <laughs> I hear Gary King, who really is bad at this growing in his. <laughs> or like, say I'm alone with my thoughts. Which I can't, like, do that. It'd be a lot of screaming. Um, I, you know, think here, it's a lot of the same for me. Um, with another human being because of your myriad insecurities. <laughs> and so I had to retire the old prospector. <laughs> so now I'm just trying to be like relentlessly optimistic, which is actually working out okay for me. Just silver linings and everything. It's therapy squint enough. Um, like, you know how some people go out and they drink what like, I would call a reasonable amount, <laughs> but, you know, different strokes. <laughs> the next day with somebody in their bed, and they don't know who it is, and they're like, what the fuck did I do last night? I have an, an equivalent thing. <laughs> that's, that's not a thing that I get to do. <laughs> uh, where I wake up the next day, you know, after drinking what I feel is right. And next to me, on the chair that I'm using as a nightstand, that's where I am, there's an empty tub of fried chicken. A tub, by the way, which is not a serving size, it's a cry for help. It's something you bathe in. And then my laptop is still open and it's paused at the 20 minute mark of a video of a mostly naked woman in a gas mask. Now, I don't know what that is. I find out minutes later out of curiosity, but we're not there yet. And you know, before, I would just, you know, drown in shame. But now, I see this and I'm like, no. I'm my own man. <laughs> I'm a unique snowflake. I'm not snowflakes. <laughs> and so it's in that spirit that I had this joke that I used to tell a lot that I don't anymore because it's awful. But I'm going to start telling again. <laughs> so um, just pretend I've been telling jokes for the last couple minutes. And... Uh, this is how it goes. <laughs> Alright guys, thanks for uh, listening to that. So, um, I do have to be honest with you, I was originally going to do this entire set on pedophilia. <laughs> um, but on the way over here, I was thinking to myself, and I was like, Zach, you can't just talk to people about plowing grade schoolers. Uh, because you know that actions speak louder than words. Oh! So that's why I was late. <laughs> and a lot of 
some people tend to not be okay with that joke. But to those people, I say, calm down. They were great. They were... Ignore that part. That... Ignore that. They were public school kids. They were fucked before I ever got there. Alright. My name is Zach Troxel. Get your shit together, Brian! Take clothes off. <laughs>